Sounds, episode 19. We have After We Pray with us today. Uh, could you go around and introduce yourselves and what you do in the band? I'm Caleb. I sing and play guitar. My name is Anita. I play bass and also sing. My name is Dan and I play drums. Okay, so how long has your project been together? Uh, the band itself started in 2010 and then what it is now started in 2013. <clears throat> the uh, the name change came when we found Dan on Craigslist, and uh, he had just moved from Maui, and uh, we were very lucky to get him. That's in Hawaii. Yeah, and so he uh, he was like, I like your your band name, but how about this? And I was like, <laughs> okay, but you have to explain it every time someone asks. Mm -hmm. So explain it. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to ask. Great. <laughs> I've never come up with a band name that's stuck, by the way. Everybody always hates on my band name, so I was really proud that this was one that finally, you know, and it's had some stain power, too, and it, 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 it is, I don't know, provocative is the right word, but it, it creates um, mystery and interest and mystique. Or they just think know. we're a Christian band. Yeah, well, that, all right, so to answer the question, uh, originally, it was just born out of, like, a lot of band names, it just, I just thought it sounded cool, and it was originally just the word pray, um, at, at, by itself, just P-R-E-Y, P -R -E -Y. But then I was always fascinated with that. I think it's a Latin symbol with the, the A and the E together that are merged. So I inserted it into the, into the word pray, and I thought it looked even cooler. And it also it's, and it's it had called a, an ash. An apparently. ash. Okay. Yeah. It had a and it had a, it has a built-in logo because of the that that symbol mm -hmm. is a logo. So I just thought it worked out pretty well. And then the the after we pray part came around. When I was just thinking about the implications of you know when the way we behave and what happens after that. What are the consequences of that? So it's, it's sort of like a, a question in a name. What do you do after X, Y, Z? And for me, I think it, it kind of stuck with me and why, why I agreed to change the band name was because like I moved around a lot, but then we, I grew up in Powhatan. Um, that's how I met Annie. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of heavy religion out there and it's kind of funny yeah there's to a say lot the least. <laughs> yeah and, mm -hmm. and and so the name also implies hypocrisy because mm -hmm. you know it's like what, what do we do after after we pray or pray um ourselves or pray on people and you know do, yeah. our, do our do our actions you match know, and then you know you you can go to church every sunday but then turn around on monday and, and treat other people poorly right so what's your song writing process like um, I know you've got two singers, and it seems like two writers as well. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, um, for me, I I write most of my stuff, even the the heavier things, on an acoustic, and uh, I'll just sit down and start, you know, fiddling around or doing something, and then um, I'll find something that I like and just start going from there. But then it's also really great because, like, the original bass player uh, Gabe. Uh, when he found Dan on Craigslist, we had gone through, I think, 12 drummers. Oh, goodness. And, yeah, and the whole point of this band was to just do simple stuff. I, you know, I've played the the metal, and I've done all the intricate stuff and stuff. It's just, yeah. Well, no, you know what I mean? Like, like the it's all about speed and sweeps and all that. Speed and sweeps. Speed and sweeps. <laughs> Write that down sweeps. in the band, <laughs> band name list, Burwell. Um, but... I've done all that stuff, and I wanted to do something where I could just, I guess, use the guitar as more of like a percussive type thing sometimes. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, I'm not, I'm not focused on the complicated chords or anything. If if something works, something works, and then I'm going to put something on top of it. But when we first brought Dan out, the first day, I think we had like two songs we knew we wanted to do, and then we wrote three songs the first day that I met him. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of just, like, clicked. And, I mean, we still play those songs today. And um, But anyway, the, the neat thing, though, you know, especially as a non-songwriter, that, that's been fun for me and effort, effortless for me is that you usually, even if we, we're jamming and we just kind of, we don't have a song written yet, he'll take it, digest it, and pretty much come to us with a complete song mm -hmm. that all we need to do is just kind of, you know, fine-tune our parts Oh you're yeah, a, you're a songwriter separately. Yes. In your own right. um, you know, sometimes it's like one of two ways. There'll be a particular sort of song title that comes into my head, 
something that I want to write about, um, or like, yeah, you know, I'm sort of like Caleb where if I'm just fiddling around on guitar or bass, I'll figure out something and I'll be like, that has to be in a song somewhere, you know, that has to be like a part of something. Um, and yeah, like I, it's actually been, it's been really amazing to come like Caleb, you know, comes with songs sometimes that maybe don't have lyrics or lyrics that haven't stuck. Like with Cornish, like that was something that completely, I, I, un, like unprompted, I was just like, okay, I'm going to write like some, some verses and I, I guess it would sound okay if I sort of wrapped them a little bit, but, um, and now it's my favorite song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, are there any like artists that you guys all like relate to that influence your music? I guess it could also be personal influences. Uh, that was, a, that was something. Deftones, I think mm -hmm. the three of us. We all connected that. pretty pretty quickly over a few. Yeah, Deftones. Nirvana. Yeah, Korn. I mean, obviously Nirvana. And Korn. Korn. Yeah. Uh, I I think I was the Seether fan, and now they. Yeah. Both, uh, I I, I now them. listen to it. Yeah. But I, but I listen to a lot of stuff. I mean my. Even since the band started, I mean, I don't just listen to rock. I mean, I listen to uh, Father John Misty is literally like one of my favorite artists, and I've like loved Fleet Foxes. We mm -hmm. we actually the harmony part of this is is from uh, we when we were younger we played a lot of indie folk yeah. like Fleet Fox ripoff type stuff and Fleet Foxes songs, mm -hmm. and the harmonies I think w from doing it for so long when we did that it just kind of transposed into this band mm -hmm. that's why a lot of our songs end up with two vocals and that, that's honestly why i feel like i can sing like with any degree of quality uh now and especially because our mutual friend eric uh really i feel like he kind of took me under his wing a little bit and like taught me a lot of what i know about guitar and just sort of musical theory in general and Especially about singing, because yeah. we would just like go through the Beatles catalog and like. And that's another sing. big one. Is the Beatles? I don't know about Dan, but I, I respect the Beatles. He respects them. Yeah, and and I I mentioned when I walked in, I was like, "Who's the Beatles fan?" Because that and the Yellow Submarine, I love. Yeah, a lot. That's how they go. So you, have you guys put out any recordings on your time? So uh, we just put out an album uh, this year uh, in July, kind of the end of June. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Drop, Cover, and Hold On. It's 12 songs. Um, our very good friend uh, Dylan uh, from Loxius and the Fellowship. Oh, Edwards. Yes. Oh. Yeah, nice. great guy. We um, interviewed Fellowship. Wonderful guitar player. I mean... He's just incredible. Yeah, he's incredible. Yeah. He, he played... Yeah. We played a show, I think maybe with Fellowship. I can't remember. But we, we covered School by Nirvana, and he did he, the solo. He played he every just, note. Every note, note, note yeah. for note. I mean, that guy mm -hmm. lives guitar. But, but So he very graciously uh, recorded us, and uh, he influenced a lot of things. I think there's... There's things on the album that wouldn't be there if it wasn't for him, and mm -hmm. we owe him a, a great, oh. great deal for that. Um, but That's so good. yeah, it's called Drop Cover and Hold On. Um, I think it's a good mix of songs, and uh, and styles, especially for us. Mm -hmm. um, and it's available everywhere. So Spotify, Bandcamp. Of. Spotify, Bandcamp. Apple um, Music. We also have physical copies you can buy on Bandcamp. Uh, we're on Apple Music. Uh, I'm working on get us, getting us on TikTok right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know, and I say this, and everybody laughs, but I'm like, <laughs> there's some of our songs where like I would love to see, I if okay, my yeah. the thing I tell people is, you know, whatever your vice is, get you know drunk or high, and then just search TikTok cringe videos on YouTube, and then like. Two hours later, you'll be like, "What did I just watch?" <laughs> Do you have any professional goals you'd like to set for yourself? Uh, more albums and more shows. Yeah. I I think yeah. I mean, we we would love to go out of state. Uh, we have a lot of you know friends in Richmond who play in bands that have gone out of state, and now we've played so many shows with out of state bands that I think we could. It's just a matter of like. Logistics and up. getting off work, yeah, and and setting, yeah, up, that's, setting that's it up, yeah. You know, there's a lot of factors to it, but I think I think it's gonna happen. But that's I think that's our goal. We just we love playing shows with anybody. Um, we have some really great friends around the area. And uh, anything else, Chloe? Do you have a favorite venue you've played at or a favorite show you've played? 
Oh, I, favorite show? Right now, I'm going to say my favorite place that I've played recently is The Pits. Uh, mm -hmm. we, yeah, we had a great time. I mean, everybody there is super nice. Uh, the and guys, it's a good setup, too. Yeah, like it's, 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 the, the backyard is, is wonderful. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like, a house venue? No, it's oh. it's a restaurant. It's like a bar restaurant. Yeah. Their it's food is phenomenal. The the liquor and beer is cheap. So yeah. Broad Rock Boulevard. Broad Rock <laughs> Boulevard, the pits. Uh, but we had a great time. I mean, I had a great time when we played there. Um, and then favorite show from for me would probably be when we opened for Saliva. Yeah, that yeah. was that, that was that our these two one. very large gentlemen uh, were just super into it. I watched the dude smack his head on a on one of the rails and then he just kept going like <laughs> going through the crowd. It was it was definitely the most like interactive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had, it was nuts. Yeah. 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 There were there were great moments. You yeah. Know, it was like show moments and that mm -hmm. one. Yeah. yeah, because I feel like, you know, and, and I think I think any band can say this that you know, you play shows and some shows the audience, you know, gives you a good reaction and sometimes they don't. And those ones like like that where it's like Everybody in the room was going wild. That's, mm -hmm. I mean, that's all I care about. That's, that's you know, all, yeah, that's all you want. Yeah, I mean, just... I, I don't write, I don't write music for money. I'm not, I'm not here to make money. If it ever happened, it happened. But, I, you know, I just write songs to try to connect with people. And and seeing that when we play it live is is something cool for mm -hmm. me. But for favorite place for me, that. I'd say the pits. It's it's mm -hmm. fantastic. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of that. Oh, it's great. I mean, you know, it's it's, it's on my list. Now. It's divey, you know, but everything's mm -hmm. cheap. The food is phenomenal and the atmosphere it's a good is atmosphere. great. Yeah. That's they, all you it's need. Very yeah. they have a, like, that sounds you know, like an ideal place. Yeah, it's yeah. great. I mean, and everybody there is super nice and And, and it's it's outside too. The venue yeah. is outside, so mm -hmm. it's there's no And they have like a little stage inside like I'd I'd love oh, yeah. to go back and yeah, do like a Sunday brunch thing there. Yeah. Do you have a preference over like house shows or organized venues? Oh, I didn't even think about house shows. That's something. That's something I definitely want to get more because yeah. we've played Hypercube, but uh, we haven't. I don't know. Oh, and also, um, um, so I was gonna say another venue we Lucy, love is Lucy Lane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lucy, Lucy Lane. Yeah, yeah Lucy, Lucy Lane. Lane. So we, we we love that kind of stuff. Yeah, and it's it's crazy because uh, Lucy and Battle Armor, I think, had not been that. Oh. Had not been around for very long when when this this part of the, the this this whatever of the band started, and Aeration. we played a era. we played a show uh, live at Lou's with them mm -hmm. uh, when Peter was still the singer of that band. That was awesome. Yeah, and I mean they were phenomenal, and now it's like they have like this own like underground house venue, and they're they're such nice people. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean great great guys and gal. Anyway, we love I all Richmond venues. Matter. Every Richmond venue, we love you, and uh, we would love to come play. Uh, we can play any kind of set you want. Uh, with three or without, and a half hours. We, yeah. we can play three and a half hours, and with or without a drummer who doesn't uh, like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about this? We, we, we really do enjoy playing DIY shows because we're a DIY band. We, and we have not played a lot of house shows, unfortunately. No, that's something yeah. I really want we, to get We would love more to do into. more. And we like we like to connect with I guess a real scene too. How about I put it that way? That right. And I wish I could go to more shows. I mean, I wish I had enough time. Like people who live in Richmond, I'm, I'm envious that you have yeah. the 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 luxury that you can walk down the street and find music. I mean, that's yeah. awesome. That's yeah. Uh, local music is something that I think needs to be pushed up more, especially in this community, because there's so many great acts. And that's why, like I, you know, if someone were to ask us to open or or you know, have a hip hop group open for us, or we open for them, or something like that, or any kind of music, we would do it because Absolutely. we we love all kinds of music, and we would play for and and with anybody. Mm -hmm. um, and 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 like he was saying, I think like the house shows, the the one that we played, it was phenomenal because it was just like in this hypercube. It was just like you know, you go in this basement, and then it's like five seconds later it's full of people and they're all into the music and that's amazing yeah. mm -hmm. i mean i had a blast it was it was nuts to see a whole basement of people just like moving around and stuff <laughs> so thanks guys for joining us i appreciate y'all coming out yeah, yeah thank, thank you, you so much for having us absolutely of thank you good luck with all your stuff and whatnot thank you yeah thanks. so this was after we pray on river yeah. city sounds Prayer. and then every every show we play i always have to go hi we're after we pray p-r-a-e-y yeah. And I'll say it about 17 times in a show so people remember. Yeah, you need to. Oh, one band we were in, we actually like, made a tarp 
we put underneath the piano and it had our name on it. So that yeah. So that's why our our banner that we put on the wall or wherever it just has that giant AE on it. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I've been trying to. This is the second time I've made a billboard or whatever, so mm. I tried putting it in more of a place so it's a little bit visible. So hopefully that. I thought the last band had brought that with them. No. I, I, I like that. That's cool. That's I love really cool. Yeah. 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 Any, anywhere we can see our name is cool. Mm. Yeah. True. But thank yeah, you. thank you yeah. so much uh, thank you for so joining much for us. Coming. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Um,
just a second. I, Don will yell. <laughs> 